Welcome everyone to another episode of the Side Drive Podcast. Today, Fast Picks for Bristol Motor Speedway. Another short track. Uh, a lot of action. All three series this weekend. Uh, so it's going to be uh, slam-packed with some race reviews. Looking forward to getting back into it. Yeah, and uh, with the trucks, they're going to be starting their playoffs. And uh, anything can happen, short tempers and pint racing. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, recap how we did last week. Uh, so first off, the trucks at Michigan. You picked Ben Rose trying to win his way into the playoffs. Uh, had a lot of heart, a lot of drive to get up there, racing for the lead, and then just had a flat tire at the wrong moment, and his playoff run was uh, cut short. Yeah, he, he was really running really great and going for the lead, and I thought uh, he'd have a good chance of you know winning that, uh, chance of getting the playoffs, but uh, I guess cut a tire and his chances were deflated. Then. So. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> uh, my pick was Stort Friesen. Uh, didn't really show a lot of speed all weekend, just kind of off. Uh, still top 10 most of the day, but just wasn't really a player at the end. Yeah, just uh, maintain. Then we go to the Xfinity Series uh, in Mid Ohio Road Course Racing. A lot different than Michigan. Uh, you picked Austin Sendrick, which uh, he was in his wheelhouse. Yeah, he was uh, coming off that man from Watkins Glen and uh, just back-to-back wins. And I picked Regan Smith, who, uh, you know, it was kind of there, kind of wasn't. Uh, just, uh, you know, it's been a couple months since we've last seen Regan Smith in the car. So, uh, you know, maybe it took a little bit until he really got the feel for it but uh, I believe he led some laps uh, just wasn't necessarily uh, as fast as Austin Cendrick which uh, no one really was nobody was uh, he was in his own time zone and <laughs> yeah uh, I mean Christopher Bell was kind of there uh, just uh, wasn't enough for Austin Cendrick uh, but uh, nice run by all those guys trying to catch him yeah and we move on to the cup side it uh, looked to me like either one of us was going to get it. Uh, my pick was Joe Logano. Your pick was Brad Kozlowski. Joe Logano was leading uh, in the last 20 laps. And then Harvick comes out of nowhere, passes them all, and somehow he had enough fuel, and we didn't. And uh, Yeah, they didn't make his races a little shorter, and we could probably <laughs> have a chance. <laughs> a 20 lap shorter would have been nice for us. Uh, yeah, because uh, Brad, he was... Really, really, really a whole lot short of gas, so uh, on fuel, so they just didn't get all in there. I was like, come on, this is, this is a tough day. Yeah, I uh, believe Logano pitted with like three or four to go somewhere around in there. Uh, just wasn't quite as fast as Harvick towards the end, uh, so uh, showed a lot of speed in practice, but just didn't have it at the right time. Yeah. Uh, to get the win but uh yeah so that was our recap of the week uh you ended up getting one win i didn't really have a chance in some of them but yeah. uh came close in the cup series but this yeah. wasn't my week i guess yeah i guess in all three series i had a slight chance but <laughs> yeah you could have easily swept the weekend but uh yeah. just uh didn't go your way right. uh but now it's a whole new week whole new slates and it is time to make our picks, uh, first up, the Truck Series. Uh, so the Night Racing and Truck Series at a short track. That is a perfect match right there. It's going to be exciting. Uh, people trying to go into the next round. Uh, would be cool to see if this race was the uh, last one before the playoffs. Uh, so maybe uh, some aggression there trying to get into the playoffs. But now uh, we're going to have people... Uh, trying to go from 8th to 1st in the points. Yeah, trying to lock their way into the, the next round of playoffs. And, uh, yeah, I believe uh, I'm going to go with Tyler Anker. Uh He's really shown some speed. And uh rookie, I mean, yeah, I believe this kid can do it. Yeah, I mean, imagine that. Like a rookie coming into the playoffs first time and and then going, maybe winning the championship. That'd be crazy. Yep. He's going to be my one of my picks to make win the championship. Yeah, so uh, bold prediction there. But yes, if you're... he's going to be in victory lane, I tell you right now. <laughs> and as for me, I'm going with uh, 
with a guy that has uh, a little bit more years than Tyler Ingram in the, in the series, uh, and well, with Johnny Sauter, uh, I believe the 2016 champion, uh, won Bristol there last year, and I think he's going to do it again. Uh, has he's had quite a bit of a slump, but you know he's. This is a track where even, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of truck he's in, he's going to find himself into the lead very late and possibly win the race. Yeah, it all takes just one uh, one win and turn the whole season around. Yeah, so uh, that was our picks for the truck series. Uh, be on a lookout because they're going to be on track later tonight when, whenever you're seeing this video. So, or uh, if you're watching it a day late, they already they're already over and we're already wrong. So I'm right. No, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so now we move on to the Xfinity series, uh, which uh, we got quite a bit of some Cup guys in this uh, race. Uh, this one is not a playoff race, so they're trying to race their way into the playoffs if the, they're not already. Yeah, uh, good chance you know for some of them. Uh, maybe not be in the playoffs, maybe sneak a win and get in there. But uh, the Cup guys is in there, and it's really tough to beat them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, my natural pick's going to be Joey Logano. He's going to be in a 12 car, and I believe he's going to get it done. Yeah, and if, if Joey Logano does win, that would be the third straight win for Penske. Uh, they won yeah. two in a row with Cendric, and uh, who knows? We could see Austin Cendric do just as well. And uh, I believe he'll have that first pit stall, so that could come an advantage for Cindric as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's he's high on confidence right now, and uh, we see what he can do at a short track. As for me, I'm going with, um, you can all guess. I mean, he's in the show. He's going to be the show. You, you, <laughs> you just had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> so why'd you do it? Uh, I mean, uh, the only way this guy is not going to win this race is if he gets wrecked by your pick or if he wrecks himself that's going to be the only way i'm going with kyle bush the king of bristol <laughs> we'll I mean, see about that <laughs> yeah i mean last year he had the whole field covered and then all of a sudden in the wall and then it was another guy's day so i think it's going to be quite a bit like that uh, it's either going to be kyle bush goes on and just dominates the thing if it's not kyle bush it's going to be joe the gun i think two solid good picks yeah and as for the Cup Series, it is time for the Bristol Night Race on the Cup side. It's going to be uh, real exciting. Yeah, it's real exciting uh, to see uh, them under the lights. And the Bristol is always good nighttime and the Cup Series and uh, short tempers. You know, this this playoff has been intense. I mean, the whole season has been intense and short tempers. And now we go to the a uh, little short track and you know things happen in Bristol yeah it's Bristol baby yeah <laughs> and uh, my pick's gonna be Ryan Blaney he's uh he's he likes his track and um, he's he's led a lot of laps here and one time he's leading and got mixed up with the lap car so hope it don't happen this time he'll be in victory lane <laughs> so and hope he has enough gas this week and uh, are we having this uh, theme of, you know, whatever car we're picking, they're going to be, their die yeah, cast is I got him right us. here. He's in the winner's circle already. So. Uh, last week we had Joe Logano on there, and that was my pick. Uh, so uh, we're going to get some more die cast, I guess. Yeah. Send us all the die cast now. So. Yeah. Uh, we need some Truex die cast, some Bush die cast, both of them. Uh, yeah. We need a little bit more die cast. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe then we could just. Uh, have the diecast next to us and we'll just put them up here yeah uh but as for me and my pick i'm going again the king of bristol kyle bush man just can't get away from king <laughs> no i mean uh it's i mean you can't go wrong with kyle bush bristol <laughs> he's like this is going to get so many people very upset but he's kind of like the dale earnhardt at bristol you know he's got yeah. that same theme except his car is not black it's either yellow or green so we'll see who's KZ going rattle this week <laughs> yeah uh, I mean like last year he didn't win the race but you know he had a beat up race car and he's still making his way up to the front so yeah he always somehow makes it around Bristol I ain't sure if he's figured it out or what it is I mean really both both of the Bush brothers really have always been good at Bristol yeah if it's not Kyle it's Kurt so uh, that's how it was last year we'll see how it is this year and 
see if some of those uh, rivalries uh, that we saw at Watkins Glen, we'll see if they'll uh, show up again at Bristol. No, we're going to have a new winner this week. So. We'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned for our race reviews throughout the week, and we'll see you then. Mm-hmm.